Hi, and thank you for joining us for another 12 and 12. My name is Tony, this is my wife Katie. We're glad that you're with us. The past few weeks, I have gone through a book called The Love Dare for Children. You may be more familiar with The Love Dare for that is for spouses. Each day, the book dares you to show your children love in a specific way. Monday's dare was called Love Seeks God's Blessings. And as you've been at home, I'm sure that you have thought about the many blessings that you have in your life. But who is the person that God blesses? And how can your children experience these blessings? So glad you asked, Tony. We can look in the Bible in Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 12. We will find the Beatitudes. These tell us who is blessed. As I read these verses, open up your Bible to Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 through 12 for me to read. And as you'll notice in the Beatitudes, um, some have called them the blessed attitudes or the to be attitudes or the whatever. But in here, it's um, God is it, it is God's wisdom, right? He, it's what he says, blessed are those who, and uh, it's quite often the opposite of our heavenly wisdom. So Matthew chapter five, verses three through 12. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, so that, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is in heaven is great. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So as you look at this, it is interesting, right? Because if it was me or any other human writing it, it's a, instead of saying, blessed are the poor in spirit, it'd say, blessed are those who are filled with spirit, for those is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who are happy, because they're comfortable. Blessed are those who are mean, for they will inherit the earth. And isn't that the difference between God's wisdom and our wisdom? So, today's dare, well, Monday's dare, says the following. Ask yourself if your lifestyle is inviting God's blessing on your family or repelling it. What needs to change? Second, choose two or more of the attributes mentioned today and discuss them with your children at a meal. You do not have children you can discuss it with your spouse you can discuss it with a friend a neighbor or even a dog but notice that the dog is not going to talk back then pray for god to instill a thirst within both them and yourself to develop these attitudes in your in your lives so the two that i have chosen from this list of the attitudes were first one was blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. And the notes that I wrote, just like you crave your favorite food, we should crave spending time with God because it will satisfy you better than anything in the world. The second one is blessed are the peacemakers because if you have children, you know that there needs to be more peace between them. The notes that I put were, allow us to get along with others. And I looked up the verse in, verses in Luke 6, and they say, 
Luke 6, um, 27 says, love your enemies, do good for those who hate us. Luke 6, 31 says, treat others the same way you want them to treat you. Luke 6, 28 says, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. So those have been my prayers as I did the dare. So I challenge you to complete this dare. Read the verses, pick two or more, and I challenge yourself and to um, love your children and your spouse or your neighbor through these attitudes. Well, thank you once again for joining us, and we'll see you soon. All right. Bye. Bye.